Aloha everyone. So happy to be a part of Olukai's Anywhere Aloha Fridays IGTV series. My name is Malika Dudley. I'm a veteran broadcast journalist and the host of the communication podcast dedicated to discussing the latest communication research that can help with the beautification of our communication. Today, Olukai asked me to get in the kitchen. It's one of my favorite places to be, so I'm so happy to be here. Mango trees are everywhere in Hawaii. They are literally dripping with mangoes and it is mango season right now. So I thought I would show you how to cut a mango. Growing up on the Big Island, my brother and father were actually allergic to the skin on the mango. So I've had to cut my fair share of mangoes. And as a kid, I'll admit, I butchered them. <laughs> but recently I learned a few ways to cut a mango that have completely blown my mind. And Olukai asked me to show you that. So today I'm sharing five ways to eat a mango. Let's do this. All you need is a mango, a knife, a glass, and don't forget the dental floss. So first step is you want to cut along the seed. So just identify where that is. The seed goes this way. So I'm gonna cut where I think the seed is as far as in as possible. Right, I have my cut. You can see I got just along the seed there. I'll cut the other side too, just for good measure. I'll fat the seed. So what you do with the middle, or what I do at least, is I go ahead and I just peel off the skin. And this is the part where you get it in your teeth. <laughs> so usually I give it to someone else. <laughs> you can get quite a bit of the meat off of the seed with a knife as well, but then this one goes straight into the mouth. This is way number one. I learned this from one of my followers, Michael. He sent me a YouTube video of someone cutting a mango with a glass, and it is my favorite method. So basically, you just take the edge of the mango up against the glass, and you push the mango along the edge. I then also turn this inside out, and if there's anything left, I go ahead and bite it. Now you can take this out. You can go ahead and cube it, cut it, however you want. The second way to cut a mango is you just go in with your knife until you feel the back of the mango, and you slice it, then turn it slice again, making these little cross hatches, and now you turn it inside out and you've got the Instagrammable mango. The third way to cut a mango is to simply cut right around the middle and twist. And now you can just take a spoon and eat it like it's a bowl. Same thing on the other side, you grab the seed, spin it, and remove. The fourth way is to peel it after cutting like so. Do a cross peel. So you just go ahead and go like that. Bring up the top part of that peel like so. And you just peel it back. One cool tip that I saw was to only peel it back halfway. So you can peel back halfway like this all around and then you can give it to your kids to eat or whatever, and they can just eat the top half of the mango. And then you basically do like a banana. And once they've eaten that top half of the mango, you continue to peel the rest down. There we go. You can eat it like this, or you can go ahead and chop it again along the seed. The final way to eat a mango does not require any type of equipment. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of it. I've never tried it before, but my friend Tim posted a video on Instagram and he learned this method in Fiji. So I'm not gonna do it, but I'm gonna try to get my husband to do it. We'll see if it works. I'm gonna suck this side. Okay. It's a little lean on this side. Well, he said just to massage it but not like break the skin massage. Yeah, let me try. Now you're gonna bite, bite it the top. So, 
Mm, it needs to be. Massage. Maybe more right. More right. Can you gently mm. massage? No, no, it's coming out now. I'm just massaging from and then just keep pushing. You broke the skin. Yeah, rookie move, but. <laughs> Feels like you're really, like you need a lot of strength for that. Mm, I think it just needs to you're be a slightly, you know, it needs to be slightly riper. Okay. It's like a tube of toothpaste. You're just kind of pushing it, continue to push it. But, yeah. You know. There you have it. <laughs> if you cut a mango differently, let me know. I will add it to the list. My favorite thing to do with the mango after it's been cut is to either sprinkle it with lemon peel and lemon juice as a fresh snack. Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering. Or to make my mother's mango mousse recipe with lily koi or passion fruit drizzle. Oh, so good. That recipe is on my YouTube channel. If you are interested in checking it out, mahalo for joining me today for this Anywhere Aloha Fridays video. Again, I'm Malika Dudley and I'm gonna go grind some mango right now. Aloha. Mommy! It's mango. <laughs>